6 News at noon. An attempted murder suspect is taken into custody after a six-hour standoff shut down an entire Portland neighborhood. And now only on 6, his family is reacting to the allegations. I said, well, what happened, Gerald? And he said, well, he said I had defended myself. And just take a look at what police found inside the home where that standoff happened, a basement full of marijuana and more than two dozen chihuahuas. Welcome to Coin 6 News at noon. I'm Jenny Hansen. Now, police are still processing that crime scene on the corner of Southeast 26th and Tibbetts. That's where Brent Weisberg is live with that interview you'll see only on 6. Brent? Jenny, good afternoon. Detectives just left the scene about a half hour ago. They were out here earlier today with a search warrant collecting evidence that included marijuana that was growing both inside and outside the home. Meanwhile, the family of Gerald Matthews tell me he is not an evil person. He, you know, graduated with honors. He's a good, he's a good man. He's a really good man. Julie Matthews sits down with us and shares a very different story about her brother. Gerald's a good man. He would do anything for anybody, and he has. Who is now in jail accused of attempted murder after police say he stabbed a man, which resulted in a six-hour standoff. He was pretty scared. As police descended on this neighborhood near Cleveland High School, Julie was on the phone with her brother. He, he said, I think, I'm, I think I am in trouble. And I said, why? What's going on? And he said, there's, there's SWAT teams everywhere outside. He admitted to stabbing someone. The family says there was some sort of burglary or robbery. I said, well, what happened, Gerald? And he said, well... He said I had defended myself. Throughout the night, as police tried to convince Gerald to come out, he could be heard screaming. He was explaining, trying to explain it to him, what had happened, that he got robbed. Inside the command post, Julie worried police would be forced to kill her brother. And for a second, around 11 o'clock, she thought that fear had come true. We all jumped and started crying because we thought it was a gunshot. It was the tactical teams instead, blowing out the windows, finally getting Gerald to surrender. Once inside, police found a marijuana grow and 29 chihuahuas inside the basement. His family says he raises the dogs and was just inspected by officials the other week. He's a good man. He's a good citizen. He pays for his kennel license for his animals. For Julie, her world is in disarray. Her brother is now in jail after she says something went horribly wrong. I think he was just in shock at that point, and I don't think he was thinking clearly. Well, back here at this live picture, you can see that Julie uh, Matthews has just shown up. She says she is going to start cleaning up the house inside. Uh, there are several broken glass windows from their home here, from where the CERT teams had to make their entry. Uh, Portland police say that the suspect is expected to appear in court tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News. All right, thank you, Brent.